What's up, everybody? How you guys doing today? Come on, make some noise. Well, I am thrilled to be here with you guys. It's an absolute honor. So let's get into this. Cannabis as a catalyst for change. Wow. You know, I go back to my high school days hosting salons in my terrace and getting stoned and pontificating about the meaning of life and making a dent in the universe. I never in my wildest dreams imagined that I'd be emceeing a conference about cannabis as a catalyst for change, for transformation, right? How incredible is that? We make some noise here. <laughs> and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about my relationship with cannabis and creativity, but it turns out that cannabis can be a catalyst for change in many other ways beyond just as a mind-expanding agent. In fact, so many ways, I had to make a list. We're going to hear from experts and visionaries discussing how the cannabis industry can become a global player and a global platform to bring positive impact in the world. So first up, of course, can cannabis change consciousness and culture? Absolutely. Can cannabis change agriculture? Check. Can cannabis change building materials and the spaces we live in? Absolutely. Can cannabis positively impact mental health? Duh. Can cannabis impact science and medicine? Turns out it can. Can cannabis be a catalyst for social justice? Absolutely it can. So prepare yourselves to be taken for a magic carpet ride. So to start off, I'd like to share a little bit about my relationship with cannabis as an agent for mind expansion, as an agent for creativity. For me, creativity starts with awe and wonder. Awe and wonder is the precursor for creative thought. Awe and wonder tickles my curiosity. Awe and wonder triggers a butterfly effect in thought. And there's a lot of science now in the science of awe and wonder, right? Recent studies out of Berkeley, out of Stanford University and others have found that experiences of awe, experiences that take us out of ourselves, can actually leave all kinds of residual cognitive benefits, right? So what is awe? Well, awe is described as an experience of such perceptual expansion or such perceptual vastness that your mental models of the world, the been there's and seen that's of the adult mind are obliterated in exchange for a kind of virginal noticing of the sensate world. And these experiences of accommodation to a new way of perceiving things. And no doubt, if you guys have a relationship with cannabis, you've no doubt had the experience of seeing the world differently for the first time. An experience of awe is, to paraphrase William Blake, a chance to see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wildflower, to hold infinity in the palms of our hands and to hold eternity in an hour. And I know for me, cannabis has always been a catalyst for this kind of mind expansion, eliciting this experience of awe and wonder, stretching my mental models of the world and forcing me into an act of accommodation and humility, right? Seeing something again for the first time. And it turns out that there's actually science as to why cannabis can facilitate these transformations because all experiences of awe and wonder can be precursors for creativity. All experiences of awe and wonder, it turns out, leave us with increased feelings of well-being, increased feelings of creativity, and increased feelings of compassion. And I remember turning to my friend Stephen Kotler many years ago and being like, yeah, why is it that cannabis seems to be such a catalyst for awe and wonder and for increased feelings of creativity and well-being? And it turns out, and he'll get much more into this, but essentially, cannabis expands lateral thinking. It boosts associational thinking. It expands your associative net, your capacity to link ideas together across different domains. I remember once reading about the notion of priming, right? So semantic priming is what you immediately associate when given a trigger. If I say the word bird, you think of wings, you think of flight. Those are the immediate associative connections that you make. 
Now, one of the things that cannabis can do is induce a state of hyperpriming, which expands your associative net. So when you're just a little bit high and all of a sudden so you're triggered with the word bird, for example, you might think of wings, but then you might think of like soaring above your limitations. Then you might think of transcending one's limits. You'll make more far-reaching, perhaps metaphorical and poetic leaps and through lines across different domains. That's why improvisers love cannabis for creativity. That's why jazz has, is so inextricably tied with cannabis. That's why freestyle rap has such a rich history with cannabis. So anyway, that's just a little bit of my relationship with the plant, and uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>